Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Cast Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Southern Tang Lover. And right now, we're technically still not done with the Mongolian Khanate, but I might have already just gone ahead and gone to war with Guangzhou Federal Government, which has a puppet of Hunan clique, but we'll see what happens. They have up to 120 divisions in total, and we've got 32, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully this goes okay. If not, you know, it is what it is. Guys, if you want to move in real quick first before you all die, that, I mean, that's probably better for everybody. But just go ahead and take as much territory. Now, we do have some territory over here. But, it's alright. Oh, people cancel and lend lease. That's not great. And now they're showing up with their divisions, which kind of sucks, but we'll take as much territory as we possibly can first. That's always a good thing to do. Fall of Hong Kong. Serious blow to Legation Cities, even though the Legation Cities are pretty much gone at this point, but whatever. And our guys are 20 combo with. I do want to remind you that our guys are 20 combo with, so even though the enemies might have some divisions as well, they might be okay. They might be weak. They might be strong. I have no idea. I really have no idea. That's what comes to go through. We also need to talk about a couple focuses that we've done. Uh, let's go look at first though. Like, these templates, some of these templates are what? They're okay. Some of them are okay. Some of them are not. But then again, we could still use more army XP to be honest with you. So yeah. Yeah. Because I do want to make these guys 40 count with which using 40 count with infantry in Asia, probably not a great idea, but at the same time, it could be pretty useful. Oh boy. Yeah, now we're not winning as much, which kind of sucks, but at the same time. It's all right. If you get Nani, that'd be great. So we've done mountaineer training. Mountains make up the book of the Yunnanese territory, and learning how to fight them is a priority. Uh, fight in them. While the armies of the north may take pride in fighting in plains and hills, our army shall deliver them a crushing defeats from e near any mountain of China. Adopt special tactics. China's a long tradition of utilizing straightforward attack plans, more reminiscent of Valkyrie Guerra style infantry charges than organized and well thought out attacks. Instead of throwing a map out of the fire, which instead learned the lessons of German shock troopers in order to maximize their combat effectiveness, or reduce and minimize their casualties and infiltration exercises. Considering China's large armies, perhaps an indirect approach to battles will be best in order to gain the upper hand. As such, practicing infiltration techniques in order to flank and crush enemy pockets will be vital if we wish to beat our enemies in the battlefield. So now we can do that one, but let's go and do eh, expand substance farming. In order to prevent the possibility of a famine, we must encourage our farmers to produce more food for themselves. We must secure food supply if we are to have a better chance of stabilizing, stabilizing our economy and provinces as well as helping our farmers to move away from the harmful, harshful, or harmful cash crops and make us dependent on exports. Follow up with exporting our yields. More peasants farming, more, more peasants producing food for themselves means there's more food to go around. Thus, we have surpluses in food and now can use what we don't need to stockpile to help even further fund expansions. By selling off our spare grain, we can increase our profits significantly in a changing world. Nice. Kind of we get a boost, and we get a lot more political power too, which would be great. A lot more red, but we're still doing pretty okay against Hunan. I'm actually okay with that. If we're doing well against Hunan, and we can take Chang Sha, that'd be great. We actually took Nanning, look at that, we did take it. Look at that, nice. Awesome. Good job, guys. Yep. I knew that their divisions might not be great, so not bad. If we actually, actually go down the thing, follow Shanghai, whatever, it's fine, whatever. Just do the best we can. Obviously, we need more divisions, but we're trying to make some more divisions. But we're just running out of support equipment to motorize, man. Yeah, that's not great because we need more steel. That's pretty much literally the only thing we need. A little bit more steel. We're still making more civvies too, so uh, let's support a little bit more steel from Sweden, maybe. There you go. So now we should be able to produce whatever we need. Okay, we don't have enough factories. God dang it. Um, take two off. Go four and take off two. There you go. Support weapons. Nice. It is 41, of course, everybody. So let's grab some more output. Thank you. God, if we could just cut them off down here, that'd be so great. And go that way if you can. So even not having this many divisions, we're still doing okay. My goodness, guys. Please. We're going to have the Hunan clique capitulate before we capitulate Mongolia. Please, please, please. We do a 64 army speed though, which is very nice. Uh, infantry equipment, artillery, 40s. Oh, I already made the 40. Oh, I already made that template. Okay. We made all of you guys. Where are you, where are you located? Down here? 40s. Can we do that? No. How about half y'all? Need more support equipment, need more motorized, towed anti air. Eh, I'll do it anyways. Hey! And a circle mine. Look at that. Nice. Not bad. Hey, they, they died. We're still doing relatively okay-ish. You know what, at this point, just do this. And don't lose anymore. Um, all these other guys that are attacking. Kind of hang out for now. You guys are still okay attacking, which is fine with us. 
You guys just lost the battle though, so whatever. And we go. Just gonna hang out. And exploring our yields. Yay! Hey, look at that. Another encirclement. Jolly good. Jolly, jolly good. So now we're missing quite a few more pieces of equipment, but making our guys stronger anyway, so that's really good. Oh, there goes the CSA. Uncertain times. More artillery, thank you. Anything else? Nope. Uh, we should probably go down at least limit limited exports. So now they definitely have us out with steel. Thank you. Conscription crisis in Quebec. Alrighty, and if they want to do that, well, I guess time to attack them back too. Well, that's not good. Nice, not bad. They're really attacking us now. So they've lost. They lost quite a few guys. That's two thousand is pretty good. We lost into thirty-seven thousand, thirty-eight thousand. Once it gets to bet, which ain't Mongolia. okay, Mongolia too, huh? All right. I mean, you guys can attack as much as you like, but and you might take this tile back, but you're not going to do that well over here. So yeah. Hopefully they run out of guns. Don't tell me Mongolia is coming back. Please don't tell me Shangxi is being that much of a loser. You know, hold over the river bend for now, because we do need to make more divisions first, so. I'll probably get some Roplet here eventually. Alright, are they attacking anywhere else? Yes, which is good. Attack them right here. Should pretty easily be able to win, especially if you guys put some more support around here as well. Oh. Are they trying to take Chengde back? Chengdi? Hello. Yeah, go and retreat for now, that's fine. Go and retreat. Alrighty. Um, I really don't want to do this, but I'll them out. We need extra divisions out right now. Because these guys have got to be running out of guns. 120. That's actually not a lot of manpower. These guys are almost out of manpower, too. Look at that. Holy crap. Nice. They have a lot less divisions than they had earlier, so which is great to see. Even though they got a ton of equipment. Holy smoky fathers. But after this one, exploring our yields. Let's go and expand our own opium production. The insipid opium was forced upon us by the British during the 19th century in order to degenerate and weaken our great society. Well, we may wish to cast off this horrible plague. It can be exploited by us to help fund our agricultural developments. And the plans of some, some medicinal benefits, however. Meow Yuntai may have some other plans. I swear to God, if these guys... If we had to touch Mongolian borders again, like, I will just... I'll mess around with it. I will mess around with it. All right, you guys can definitely go in here. Just kill them off, man. Do we have any upgrades, actually? Yeah, that's what you guys do. It's pretty nice. Nothing there that we really care about, though. Nice. Very good. One of these guys doing it is probably not enough. So let's get a few more guys. Get some more construction speed too. We could help out there as well. That'd be awesome. Uh, keep boosting that up and do that one too. We need more millies. And more resources, but that's kind of what we're fighting for here. So, um, overall, not bad. Keep it going. Keep it going. Let's go keep an eye on the other board of Mongolia. Uh, you might need a little bit more help there. Nice. Cool. And in here too. Well, it's either one. You can either lose. Actually, actually, I prefer to take that one, probably. Yay, and Rapa, and get more cap as well. That'd be great. Oh, hello. Help out, help out. As long as they keep attacking us and we do okay ish. We'll be okay ish. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice. Cool. We need more guns, more artillery, though. Oh, god dang, we're out of motorized again. Uh, that one. Meow Yunta proposes banning opium. Despite the reliance on opium trade, Yunnan has had for the last 20 years, Prince Sir Miao Yuntai, with a lot of support of the Kunming Assembly, has proclaimed that the opium trade has to be eliminated from Yunnan. Not merely on a moral ground, but also on an economic one. His main argument is that historically, Yunnan has been the second largest producer of opium in the region, being greatly dwarfed by Sichuan, which is the greatest opium producer in all of China. As such, we've never been able to keep up with the production, and they took the majority of the market's demand. This has harmed our profits from the opium business, and, which is, and as such, it would be our best interest to instead promote substance farming. 
subsistence farm, I should say, and started government programs in order to help the Yunnanese addicts to move past their addiction. However, final decision rests on Tang Jiao. Not just yet? Ooh, that's not bad, but ban it. Seek new markets. With a newly uh, supply of goods secured, we should seek to sell excess production abroad. While the dependence on exports in the past has damaged our own self-sufficiency, we're confident that resuming this practice exclusively on excess goods is only bound to bring benefits to our economy. Absolutely. Let's get some better supply consumption. Nice. This sucks over here, but whatever. They still attacking? Oh yeah, they are. They did. They took that province back, which sucks. Nice. And they'll probably start attacking again eventually. Um. Oh god, Mordor's looking so bad now. So bad. Come on, guys. You wanted this war. You want to be rulers of China, right? Oh, they mobilized some more. That sucks. Um, 32 divisions. Yeah, they're running out of infantry equipment as well, which is good, good, good to see. Keep making the millies and civvies. We need more of everything. Keep making more of that stuff. Get more anti... Oh, and they're attacking us again. Not bad. As long as it's mostly, you know, not blue. That'd be really, really weird if it was blue. Mostly green. That's what we really care about. Any upgrades here? No? Kinda sucks then. Oh, these guys are still pushing. God, we gotta end that war with those guys. Seriously, man. Seriously. <clears throat> Alright, so now, after new markets, can we promote tourism? Oh, it would be a piece for that. God dang it. Um, anything else? There's not much else we can really do. Let's do Yunnanese Air Force. Since the Great War, air power has been a, become a priority in the modern battlefield and with our war fast approaching China. Perhaps air power will give Yunnan the upper hand in the upcoming battles. Well, we'll see about that. Hello. Wow, there's a lot of guys trying to kill us off right now. And I love it. Let them try. Oh, guys, going to. Go on, please. You should be able to win here. You realistically should be able to. 420 combat with the division should be able to win. Now 6 and now 8. Bring it on, you bunch of suckers. Um, yeah, get more artillery. That'd be real good. Acquire new fighters. While we can acknowledge or the usefulness of fighters, we also need to acknowledge that we lack the means to produce them. As such, perhaps it would be beneficial for us. For a change, utilize to the Kunming Haifeng Railway for much more than just in exports. And instead, we bring some much needed equipment from the outside world. Alrighty, so... Can we do that, maybe? This is the wrong year to do. Actually, attacking here would be extraordinarily good. If we could encircle them. They've lost half a million. Like, after this one, like, once we get these guys done and taken care of, then we should be able to pretty... I don't say pretty easily, but beat up the Qing Imperial Authority, so... Nice. Go immediately. Need you to hold. Bro. Hold. Get rid of that another division, which would be awesome, awesome, awesome. Construction. Get some more extraction. Yeah, we could actually use a lot of extraction. Alright, you guys are attacking here. Let's go in here. That should help us out. That's not good, but not terrible. Um, go in here, too. That's good. Oops, it sounded like Discord wanted to ping me. But we're not going to respond to that just yet. Cool. Apologies for that. Couple comments include. Someone says we should backstab the Shang-Chi. Oh boy, you know we're going to backstab them. You know we're going to backstab them very well. Very, very well. And actually, once we can start buying fighters, that'd be really good as well. So yeah, we will backstab them. Yeah, we'll get the fighters. That'd be good, good, good. Maybe a lot of political power. I'm not sure what to do with it. They've lost 450,000 people. Like, that's not enough. It says we could win our battles, but can we really win them? We have an intelligence agency. We need. We should create one. Provincial Public Safety Department. Nice. Production lines. Grab some of that too. Actually, we still have only three, three resource slots. But oh, what's going on in Europe? Who's, who's dying? The Germans are. They're still holding out. They're fighting the Reichs. The Reichs back still fighting the Moscow Accords, which includes all of Iran as well. Okay. Oh yeah. I guess the Third International is sucking. Oh, Canada won. All right, Canada won. Not sure how that's going to affect things, but Belgium is doing great, even though they just capitulated. Um, expand the United Aviational School. 
Founded by the request of Tang's younger brother, Tang Ji Yu, the Yunnan Aviational School is one of the few institutions in China dedicated solely to the learning and implementation of flying techniques for both military and civilian applications. Finding and expanding this school may prove beneficial in the coming years. Apologies for the Discord pings. If it happens again, I'm going to just mute it out. Probably, hopefully. Alright, where can we attack next? Three divisions is quite a few. Mexico and the PSA. Good luck with your peace. You're on easy peace, probably. Cool. And we're going to need some more uh, rubber, too. Which was what we're going to get from the Dutch East Indies. Thank you very much. I'd love to attack down here. At this point, it says we could have, you know, just done a general attack and done okay, but now it doesn't look like so. So what we're going to do is this. You guys are going to come up here. Keep encircling divisions and kill them off. Okay, that's probably a really bad idea, guys. Don't, don't attack the Netherlands, but who, who are we to say? Yeah, they want to keep attacking. Like, this is what I was planning on doing anyways, but... Head of Intelligence sounds like a good idea. Grab some fire... Ormond Department would be very, very good. Netherlands... Well, I mean, you kind of saw that one coming. Is there anywhere else we could attack, maybe? Head and retreat down that way. You know, about there, that'd be great. Cut him off. Yeah, they're just a, they're just going to town on us, like. Acquire new fires is good. Expand the aviational school. Alright, get some fire planes. Boost steel production. Yes. And expand Yunnan's tungsten uh, prospecting too. Might as well. Alright, this one we're going in. We're going ham on them. Screw them all. Go, go, go. Force the attack. Kill them all off. That's the plan for now. Promote aviation. Ah, air exercises. One large issue we have to face when considering air powers you know, in you know, As that possessing the equipment and volunteers is not as sufficient to guarantee combat effectiveness. We need to hire foreign experts to oversee our trainees, and we may need to practice the maneuvers that they may one day win us a battle. Yeah, you're going to have to win now. Like, we're dumb, like, you know, messing around with these guys. Doesn't, I don't care how many casualties it takes. Look at those, uh, those guys. 800,000 of them have died, and it ain't going to be enough. We're going all the way, son. They want war? Well, we'll make sure they can't win it. Hey, better supply consumption now. I think, right? Yep. And more land out attack would be great. End of the American Civil War? Okay. Wuzu is going to be ours. Hey, Hunan Creek. Great. We got the artillery too. Oh, for the love of God, please cut them off somewhere. Please cut them off somewhere. Who won? No one did. The New England, federal government, it looks like, and the PSA. Wow. All right, whatever. All right, you go ahead and uproot a lot of their entrenchment. Do this too. Nice. Good. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so sad for them. Not really. I don't really care. Kill them all off. Every single last one of them. And more arty pieces, please. Oh, we need more guns too. Holy crap. There you go. Nice. Go, 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 go. For the love of God, just exterminate them all. They're close to capitulating too, which is nice. Guangzhou would be great to have this time of year. We're just gonna just take everything they got. Excavation 3, go back to Excavation 1. Nice. Steel's good now. Steel's very good. Air exercises are soon, in two days. Eh, we can wait. Got some water here too to drink. Took us 20 minutes to do this, that's fine with us. Keep moving around, keep moving around. 
Bro, just go into there and you can just like encircle them. Malta, very good, very good. Yeah, they're done. They don't have enough divisions to cover the line. Uh, that's not affecting us too badly. You know, keep keep improving yourselves. Nice. Go in, boys. Macau would be nice, but we can wait on it. Force the attack for you guys. Force it. They've got to give up soon. How is Mongolia not giving up yet? Jesus Christ, Shang-Chi. The fall of Paris. Whoa. These guys are actually going to win. Nice, over here. Oh, well, you could have done Macau first. Go, get over the river. Get over the river quickly. Keep striking, keep striking. Could have just thrown you over the river too, but whatever. Alright. And we get Hubei, you might as well. And then promote aviation. Aviation is a fairly new thing in China. Well, wow. oh, oh crap, my apologies. Alright, they're gone. While volunteers for the Kunming Academy and the Army are bound, there aren't that many to consider or even aware we have an Air Force. We just started campaigning and promoting enlistment to our Air Force with all some hefty wage increases naturally. Oh, who the heck are you? When did you guys get here? Mongolian Khanate, of course, but who, who are you? League of the Provinces? Oh, I guess we have to finish you off, huh? It's fine, whatever. That's kind of dumb. Well, I thought Warsaw already fell. My gosh, that war is just taking way too long. Alright, integrate, yes. Assume national leadership. By being the strongest faction capable of standing against foreign domination, we can begin to assert our leadership over all of China and lead the nation against foreign aggression. I'm gonna wait, let's get some of this stuff first. Yeah. Expand the minds, now we need more political power. A general abandons opium addiction. Nice! Thanks to the effort by our government, one of our generals formerly addicted to opium has undergone rehabilitation and is now cleaning the influence of the drug. Yay! Good job, Tang Ji Yao. Good job. Can we get 1.11 every single day? It's not bad. How many divisions do you have? Are you getting Qing China? You were. Ah, you were part of the. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm going to backstab these guys first. How the heck are you still fighting here? My god, you suck so hard. How? Yeah, I'll just, we're just going back up to stab them. We have to. Because the war against Japan is going to be a real pain in the butt. I'm going to need a lot of divisions for that. We need a lot more guns. Holy crud. I don't hurt the artillery because we're going to need all that artillery too, so. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. Please just hurry up. Mongolia, why? Let's at least finish these guys up first. Oh, is that not us? What is this one? From aviation? Maybe we'll just go ahead and do this one first. A certain region of dominance. <clears throat> if we're to serve ourselves as a big fish in our little palm, we must begin wrapping up our production of goods and weapons as well as getting our recruits whipped into shape. It's no longer acceptable to put off for tomorrow what can be done, of course, today. So... Um, that's not too bad, but that one can really wait. Air repair, repair craft facilities can really just wait, so. <coughs> Alrighty. So after that one, we're going to do the, our claims in Siam. The fall of the British Empire saw Burma reaffirming their independence, but with this came, with this came weakness. Without support of the British in the Entente, Siam was able to lay claim to a portion of the Pianama region, of which is true Chinese territory, with a success of acceptance of the Yellow Book Affair. Now it's time to secure the silver bonds that were stolen by the Siamese. Are you in the... Yeah, you go to prosper. God dang it. Shangxi, hurry that bad word up. My goodness, you suck so hard. We need some more guns, too. Um, Syndicalist Union is not bad, but we could probably take them on, but still. 
This is gonna be god awful. We really need the peace deal right now. Oh my gosh, Shangxi, please. Please. Give me military access to you guys. Let's cancel uh non fishing back, yeah, that's fine. Come up here. Can we just finish this for you? Just, we're just gonna finish it for him. Just finish it for him, man. Integrate it. Assume national leadership. I want to do that in a little bit. I'm not sure what that does. Does that change your focus tree? Because I don't want to change your focus tree just yet. Let's go do this one too. More organization would be good. No. It's looking pretty good so far. A lot of the territory has been core, which is awesome. Haiti is gone. Okay. Is everyone going me? Oh, no. What the hell? No. I only said one of you guys. I literally only said one of you guys. Oh my god. I only want this army up there. Go, 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 go. Much of the Walmart artillery. We're going to integrate Hunan next. That'll be good. Alright. Oh, we can't do this one either. Uh, while we may not possess the means to produce large amounts of aircraft or resources in light in industry, do allow us to produce several spare parts. In university, of China have dozens of engineers willing to provide their help for government for the right price. Let's get more division. That's nice. You guys keep training. That's fine with us. After this, we can't do anything else until we get this stupid war over with. I don't understand why you're taking so goddamn long, Shang Shi. Force the attack. Seriously, we're not. Where are your divisions? Okay, I'll be honest here. I'm just going to have to straight up annex them. So I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So Mongolia is back. But at the same time, like, I just did the peace deal. And, like, we're looking pretty good now. But Muhammad Bajan requests funding for the Hui schools. The renowned Islamic scholar and Arabic glossator has been an influential figure in the United States Muslim community, serving as a popular spokesperson for the Hui minority. While initially a student in Shanghai and comrade of the Kuomintang, his political connections and involvement with the Shanghai government are uprising, but the esteemed theologian out of the new central government's good graces ever since. He's been a refugee back in his birthplace of Yunnan, often requesting our regional government for funding to maintain his cultural and religious projects. His latest plan is to open a new series of Sino-Arabic schools throughout the countryside, teaching the Hui both the language of Allah and the language of the great Chinese nation, and requested for government funding once again. Have his funding. Have to help himself. Here, have, have your funding. But we've also finished up. Promote tourism. A general band is opening edition. Nice. Very good. Long Yun, good job. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful province. There are mountains, valleys, old towns, and the rivers that run through them have been written about in numerous books and poems. While not central to our economic plan, promoting tourism would allow us to earn easy money from the natural and historical beauty of our province, and then expand rural infrastructure. Ever since the first human settlements appeared at the side of the Dian Lake thousands of years ago, connecting the bountiful farmland with the villages and cities through the maze of mountains and valleys of Yunnan has been a tough challenge for every government in the region. We should try our best to expand on it, and improve upon the existing, already existing inf framework and strengthen regional cooperation. Greater power to the regional governments do not just apply in political aspects, but also economics. We need to rethink the way we approach the cooperation between our assemblies in order to have a cohesive economy despite Yunnan's decentralization. We've got some more divisions, which is great, 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 because we're about to go to war and kill off Shang-Chi, because, heck, we can. And help reduce the lag, hopefully, eventually. Um, and then in the next episode, which will be with the final episode, probably, we'll attack the Qing Imperial Authority. Just take out those guys, too. Oh! That's not good. You guys are going to go to war with them too? Alright, well, see what you can do. See what you can do. Why are we not war with these guys? Why are we losing? We go all... It's a, this is a full front-wide conquest. Absolutely front-wide. And I apologize for the ping from Discord. God, I forgot about that when I went off screen. But yeah, the game is turning extremely laggy. Like, I don't know if there's a memory leak, because this happened before, like, where we've crashed repeatedly very harshly. So, there might be a memory leak in this campaign. We'll see what happens, but... Like, this is, honestly, for at least for me, like, this is not just the death, it's not the death's fault for Kaiser Redux, but just, this is the point in the campaign where it just gets so incredibly lucky, I don't want to play it anymore, so, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, but Germany's still doing relatively okay-ish. What's going on down here? The Belgrade Pact is attacking the Dona Ejibund. That's not very good. Wait, is Germany fighting the Entente? Uh, no? I guess not. No? Oh, Edward VIII. And America's still not reunited, which... Garth, you gotta do something about that, man. So overall, it looks like we got, we're got we winning, but... How much are these numbers winning by? That's the real question. I don't care how bloody it is. I can't imagine Shang-Chi doing that well, because... Honestly, like, before we faded and faded out, like... Mongolia was still just producing divisions. Just, ma just mass-producing, like, nothing but militia. 
which is extraordinarily annoying to fight against. Just just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of militia. Also, we, have some, we should have some planes, right? Oh, that sucks. Agent captured? That's, that's not good. Uh, go ahead. And keep working on stuff. Planes! We have nothing. Okay, then. Uh, we have actually quite a few fighters. That's kind of nice. Yeah, we're going to need some more fuel, though, so... Yeah. We're probably going to run out of fuel eventually. Do we have any other... Nope. Oh, we have our fighters, which is fine, but still. I'd love to get some tactical bombers and such later on. Grab some of that there. Go up by five. And anti-air would probably be good as, to do as well. Yeah, we need more aluminum. Look how laggy it is. In your guys' campaigns, how long do you go with uh, Kaiser Redux? Do you just go all the way, or Kaiser Reich? Do you just go all the way until you're pretty much done with the campaign? Because, my goodness, I hate the lag. I hate it so much. Alright, and strengthen regional cooperation. And keep coring more stuff. That'd be really good. So after that one, a restored mandate. Well, we can't quite get down there just yet. That is some extreme lag. It's lagging so badly, I can see my blue mouse with a little, which, which means you know there's a lot of lag. So, um, probably... Oh, the Communist France is gone. Good job. Even Riga took two states. Last Italy standing. It's up to them now. Nice. Uh, Tang Mandate has been restored. Well, we gotta wait for that first. Uh, is there anything else that we can do? The Yellow Book Affair. We need to be peace. The Piana Ma incident of 1910 saw the British and the Burmese Stooges seize control of what was, was in rightfully Chinese territory. However, we've been in negotiations for months with the tribal leaders of the border region, and they've been claimed their support for us. The time's gone for putting our cards on the table and release the Yellow Book. Nice. Yeah, we'll win here eventually, like, even though they're doing relatively okay against us. Like, we'll, we'll still win in the end. Um, you guys... Can you just make yourself really thick? Artillery. That's a little bit too thick. Thank you. Logistics and... Oh my god, Discord, please. I... Jesus Christ. You know, when you think you muted it before, and just... It, it just shows you that you just did it. You just did it. I did it. My bad. That's not bad. 150,000 versus 30,000 is not too bad. That's actually pretty good. Now keep improving ourselves, and not bad. Also, how much, how much, how much do they have here? Less than 100,000 manpower, but no guns. They have a little bit of artillery, but no guns. Very good to see. Anyone have upgrades? No. Hey, the German Empire's looking pretty good. Now they should be able to fight the, the uh, Ruskies or the Russians. Poland is back again, so... And the Anton took that too. So oh, this is very weird that our expect actually won almost every single campaign I do. They almost always lose. At the, I say almost always because obviously, as you can see right now, now oh, they have. So, God dang it, Discord, stop! Oh, I swear to God, Discord. Because because I, I want to finish these guys off, end the episode, and then I'll deal with it. So my apologies about that. Union of Burma. You know these guys are gonna lose anyways. We might as well just attack them and take out Burma ourselves. Then again, that is a piece of border with these guys too. Maybe we won't. Let's see what happens. They've got to be given up soon, right? They lost 210,000. 230,000, not 210, 230. Looking better, looking... They even have to have much motorized. Their fires are really bad. Cool. Tourism and Courage is gone. Ma Juan seeks to promote Egyptian cultural exchange. Another proposal has been put forward by the famed Wee Scholar. Resurrecting a decades-old idea, Ma Jian had planned for creating a Chinese Egyptian cultural exchange. Although nearly successful, the collapse of the British Empire and their hold over Egypt faltered. A faltering saw Ma Jian unable to secure any passports uh, to the now independent kingdom of the Nile from the British consul in Shanghai. Him and his students were left stranded in China but years later. He's now hoping to cash in his favor with the regional government to finally make the journey. Uh, he has petitioned us to pay for the travel expenses of for a trip to Cairo, where Ma Jian will represent our both Yunnan clique and China as a whole, cultivating greater relationships with the Arab nations. Return to French exiles, cool. Fun is expedition, that's fine with us. Even though we don't have a focus right now, um, it's it's still very helpful just getting more political power, so. And Sha Shi clique is gone. What? Why can we take that, bro? 
All right, and then now the Yellow Book Affair on the Union of Burma. That wouldn't be too bad to do. We don't have a lot of space around here, so I'm going to actually request all everyone here but you become 40 combo with. This is a really bad idea, but let's do this anyways. All right, hopefully you guys can make it down there. Let's see what you can do. As we're going to be training everybody else here for now, why don't you guys do something like this? Get ready for this, just a gigantic war in the next episode. The, basically, quite literally, the war for, war for China's soul. Alrighty. Um, yep. Yeah. Oh, Empire of Japan's down there, too. It's not great, but still. I like to have one solid front line here. If we can take these mountains, at the very least, that'd probably be pretty okay with us. And then our claims in Siam. Fall of the British Empire saw Burma reaffirming their independence, but with the same weakness. I think we read this one already. Without support of the British in the Alentan, Siam was able to lay claims to a portion of the Pianma region, which, of, of course, is true Chinese territory. With the successful acceptance of the Yellow Book Affair, now it's time to secure silver mines that were stolen by Siamese. And Yunnanese hegemony restored. Our natural borders are secured, our military marches proudly with strength and honor, and our industry has never been stronger. We have established ourselves as truly the greatest province in all of southern China. Let's see what happens with these guys. Um, we need more support equipment and anti air. Ooh. And can load up by five, that's fine. Plenty of motorized for now. I'm gonna keep it where it's at right now. And we should probably get some better. Get some planes? No. Yeah. Some casts. That'd be very nice. And we'll try to take as much as we can from Burma, but you know what? We'll see what happens. A new United That's really strong. More political power, resource efficiency gain, monthly population, max factories in the state, growth, factory output, trade deal factory, which is able to just build things faster too. Love it. Oh, they call them... Oh, whoops. I don't know that's in there too. It's alright. If we can take as much of this as possible, I'll still be happy with that. Sure, Raj Authority. Sure. Yeah, Entente. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah, Texas, or uh, never mind, Republic of Chile. Same thing, basically. Alright, Shang-Chi, might as well. I'm just going to do all that stuff. Can't really do it right now yet, so. Go, 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 go. Synthetic oil. Uh, get some rubber. We could probably use a little bit more rubber, even though, yeah, it's okay-ish. Yeah, we went to import rubber from Russia. Okay, whatever. Get some better arty. I did say planes, but whatever. That's fine. <clears throat> and keep getting more PP for now. Oh, yeah, guys, yeah. Support equipment? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if we could join the Entente, that'd be awesome. Oh, we're fighting these guys, too, so. Don't forget about that. Cool. You guys keep on going. Don't worry about it. Now we should be out of equipment, right? Yeah, we're way out of artillery. Not good. <coughs> Excuse me, and support equipment. Um, keep making make two millies at all times. Uh, turn fifty. There you go. That's good enough. Our enemies are making ready for war. The Qing Imperial authorities are preparing to declare war, war upon us soon. Well, crap. Steel production. Um, I'd rather just get more cores right now. So, if we could hurry this up, that'd be great. We'll see what happens. But still. If that's the case. Our enemies are great for war. Um, our objective in Burma is complete. With the northern successful cross on the Burmese border and the capture of both northern Shan and Kachin, our objectives in Burma are now complete. Should we continue forward towards Ragoon or should we end the conflict consolidated hole in the region? Well, let's do that one first. The peace deal has been signed. As stated in our terms of peace, northern Shan and Kachin shall be annexed by our government and Burma will become nothing but a puppet for Yunnan. This is great for the Yunnanese government. I'm finding these guys, though. Kind of awkward, then. Cool. Are you actually a puppet of us? Bomb on. Yeah, you are. You know, that could have been a lot worse. That could have been so much worse. Um, with that in mind, though, we got to keep these guys down here, though. Nice. Hopefully, we can do well down here. I mean, we did make these guys 40 combo with, but still. So, <clears throat> that's unfortunate. But hopefully, they don't have enough organization just yet. All right. Yeah. Uh. Well, schnikes. Schnikers. Schnikey-wikes. Yeah, I'm going to have to 
we have to uh, figure out how we're going to really do this for realsies. Um, you know what? Since we're here... Oh, begin colonizing them. That's kind of cool. The Wasits and Kokang. Um, anything else here? Subdues the provinces? No, there's so many down here. Look at all the stuff we can do. That's kind of cool. But I do want to do... Which one? Where is this? On Wii? Because they're going to invade us eventually, so... Let's save the game, and I want to see if... Assuming national leadership will do anything for us. Because obviously that's not very good, but... Oh well. Are you guys 40 combo with? Are you guys at 40? No, you're actually only 20. That sucks. Let's see. Assume national leadership. Does that do anything for us? I'll give it seven days. Why not? I'm glad we got you guys out right now. Because this is going to suck. You guys just got to hold out as best you can right now. Because division for division will do okay. Like, I'm not worried about that. This stuff, though, maybe a little bit more. And for you guys... You're, you're going to go to war with us anyways. So we, we already can tell. So, Hey, let's open the addiction. Nice job, guys. Nice job. You know what? They want to do this crap to us? Force the attack. We're going to teach them what it means to mess with us. Losses? Oh, they're doing really, we're doing really well against them. Of course, Japan's doing well against them, too, but still. The Entente's fighting uh, these guys, too, huh? You can just go in there, guys. You'll be fine. Keep going, keep going. If we can get Hanoi, that'd be awesome. Cut them off. Cut off Hanoi from the rest of the capital. Or the country. Oh yeah, this is definitely a mixed bag. It is definitely a mixed bag. Doing the best we possibly can down here. Oh boy. And we're gonna get naval invaded too. That's gonna suck, suck, suck so hard. The Germans no longer control the Kunming Haifeng Railway. After more than a decade of unfair taxation policies over our trade towards the uh, outwards through the Kunming Haifeng Railway, the Germans have finally been driven out of Southeast Asia. Our relations with the new owner of the railway may still be shaky. There's no denying this is a mar marked improvement over the German exploitative shackles of the past. We're finally sh free the shackles of them. <clears throat> Guys, can you hurry the heck up? This is ridiculous that you're still taking this long against these stupid people down here. Alright, do so we get circle here? No, so this is okay then. Um, I don't want to get rid of you just yet, Tang, but we gotta separate these guys. So you're over here. So now we can link up both of these guys at the same time. And now we can just shove a lot of divisions under this group here. This sucks. This really sucks. Screw the Japanese, man. But we'll fix it off screen. Okay, why are we not going to war? Honestly, you have a non-aggression pact? What do you mean you have a non-aggression pact? They're going to backstab us. As soon as we leave, they're going to backstab us. But we got to take them over here. That's BS. That's 100% BS, man. Do we lose somebody here? Oh, you, you better not lose anybody here, you son of a rock sucker. Keep solidifying everything. Solidify, 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 solidify. Infiltration and depth. So we're done with our land auction. Get some planes. Get some casts. I want some casts. Paraguay's gone. Which is good. Kill that division off. Come on. Just kill them off for the love of God. So we've lost how many guys? Um, 69,000 is not very good. Even though we've killed off 70,000 of those guys and 100,000 of those. So that's not too bad. Honestly, they're stretching themselves out so thin that it's basically going to be like vanilla China. Like, it won't be that bad to take them all out. Nice. Get some better arty. Even better arty after that. Yes, please. Get some more arty. Yes, yes, yes. Because they don't have cores on any of this stuff. Or at least they shouldn't. And they should have a lot of resistance here. Oh, they're almost out of manpower. Oh. How about we go in and delete all their manpower then? Oh, then we can win. Oh, that sounds like a smart thing to do. Rua Prubang. Not bad. You kill them off. You find the Japanese, you kill them off too. See what we can do. I don't even have tanks. Look at that. Norway's gone. But I think I'm going to have to end the episode here, my friends. I'm going to keep working on this just a little bit. Uh, we can read about that one too. And a little bit. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we kick the Japanese out of mainland China. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.